How's it going, everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another review. It has been quite a while. Uh, nine, ten months, something like that. Haven't been drinking much beers lately um, for the last, like, year-ish. Um, did a couple reviews of beers, like, last time this year, but mainly been getting into cocktails spirits mainly uh south american spirits caribbean uh rums you're looking at tequilas mezcals uh pisco cachaças so that's what i'm into right now i'll still be reviewing i think some beer here and there um but uh yeah mainly spirits that's what I'm into. Maybe some cocktails. Maybe make a few cocktails on the channel. See what you think. But uh, today, what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at, spoiler alert, uh, El Dorado 12 year. Great rum. From Guyana. Guyana? Don't really know the name of the country. I know how it's spelt. But <laughs> it's the only place on earth that can make designated uh, Demerara rums. And gotta say, love a nice Demerara rum. Um, I mean, this bottle's all almost empty. Is It's one of my main ones. But um, yeah, let's go. As you can see, it pours quite quite dark for a rum 12 year rum it should be pretty dark um as far as i know it's just made from the demerara sugars distilled by them um so no colorings added um it's just a pure not dark but aged rum Looks beautiful in the glass that I got from Short Path Distillery out there in uh, either Chelsea or Everett, Massachusetts. When I visited with my family uh, like five years ago, something like that. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to take an aroma from... This guy, uh, this is my empty bottle. I got a fresh bottle here, so I'll take aroma first from the glass and then from the actual bottle. I mean, smells awesome. It is one of my favorite rums, so I'm going into this one biased. Yeah, you're looking at just caramelized sugars, just molasses, just a deep, almost, like, roasted fruit, like, pineapple, banana. A slight metallic thing, which really works. There's a little bit of a bitterness on the aroma. Not too alcoholic, I gotta say. Um, those guys in Guyana know how to uh, hide the booze on their rums. Even at 40 proof, this smells a lot less dangerous. But damn, I know how it tastes. So uh, it packs a punch. So pretty stoked. I'm gonna open up this bottle here. Um, gonna probably take a while. So, you know what? There we go. All right. Fresh out of the bottle. So the aroma is more extracted, just, yeah, like fermented bananas. Uh, deep, deep, rich bananas. 
man, maybe a hint of, like, passion fruit. You get, like, nutmeg, cinnamon. It's so intense. Oh, absolutely love the smell of this rum. So, let's try it out. Cheers. It's so damn smooth. I mean, flavor-wise, you get, as I said before, in the aroma, you get all those flavors. But the booze, nothing. There's no burn except when it goes down to the belly, you know. And that's when you got a good rum. I mean, this in a Mai Tai? Shit. Um, a hurricane this guy in a hurricane shout out to my boys out there in New Orleans Nolens. Um hurricanes go so well with a nice deep aged Demerara rum It's one of my favorite rums, I gotta be honest. I've had a few at this point, and as far as Demerara goes, I like the old school, El Dorado, man. It, it's cool. It's sweet. Not the best, but for the price point, you can't beat it. You really can't. 35 bucks. Canadian for this guy. What is that? 20, 25 American? It doesn't get better. <laughs> I mean, for that price point, I've had a lot worse rums for a lot more money. Shout out to Bamboo, the most expensive, overrated rum disgusting um <laughs> uh yeah great rum i mean the presentation looks sweet the price point amazing i'm not gonna rate shit on a number scale even like a A to F scale, but this is one you should get. It's so essential in a bar. If you're going, you know, I want to create a tiki bar or a rum bar or shit like that, you know. Or just have a nice rum on point, which you can just be like, hey, buddy doesn't like Bacardi, he hates rum. Yeah, try this guy. Try this guy. Eldorado 12. That's your fucking selling point on rum. It tastes so good. It's intense. It's just delicious. Delicious rum. It's got so much complexity. It's got all the spices. All spice. Fucking cinnamon. Nutmeg. All those things. But with that banana. That slight funk but a nice caramel sweetness it's a very re or approachable rum i was gonna say reproachable no but an uh, approachable rum for an approachable price and it should belong in any bar really um so this is why I buy one bottle all the time. Like, once I run out, I'm like, what Demerara rum should I get for my bar? This guy. Every time. Once I find out there's maybe a chance of me running out, I go out and get a new one because it's just so damn good uh yeah 
it's one of my favorites there are better rums out there but you're also paying like 20 bucks more <laughs> and i'm not gonna do that uh most people i think can't just be like hey i'm gonna spend 60 bucks on something that tastes a little better than a 40 buck you know so you know so uh yeah awesome awesome can't recommend it enough uh el dorado 12 year rum comes with a sweet cork there we go i always like a cork it's just me so yeah um thanks for watching till the end if you do like and subscribe i don't really view comments more than like once every three months so hey write some mean shit i don't care hate a bunch whatever i won't see it for a few months so <laughs> and really i don't give a fuck so uh there we go Eldorado 